Hi. It's been a minute. Um, I decided to make a video today and some tea. So, um, and there's construction happening outside of my window. Also, I am in Paris. <laughs> it's like my happy place. Second time in, I don't know, 10 months. But anyway, I decided to make a video today because it's rainy, it's cold, I'm not outside, I've been out roaming the streets for days. Um, and this is my last stop on my Europe trip. I started off in um, Amsterdam, then I went to Venice, and then I came to Paris. And I go home in a couple days. So, anyway, today I've been watching all of these home reno videos. And then it occurred to me that I should probably make a video and update you on things on the home front. I will say, if you want to see like DIYs and all the different things I'm fixing up, painting, trying to build in my fixer upper, you can follow me on Instagram at at home with Krista David. So home with Krista David. That is where I am on Instagram and you can see some of the progress, but it's been, let me catch you up. Let me catch me up. I just celebrated, or actually I didn't celebrate, I completely forgot because work has been crazy. My one year house anniversary um, was September 8th. And um, so I closed on my house September 8th, 2021. Is it 2020? Yes, we're in 2022. Crazy. And um, the main things that have happened in the house, first of all, let me just say that everything just takes forever and a day. I would love to have had a, a completely, entirely renovated home in this time. None of that worked out, how <laughs> it worked out. So I closed on the house and then I didn't move into my house until, <sighs> I gotta remember this date. I feel like it was in December when I moved into my house. So from September until December, I was staying at my rental and then I went and stayed with my sister and brother-in-law and my two nephews. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so while I was um, couch surfing, um, the main thing that we were having done in the house or I was having done in the house was the electrical work had the whole house rewired um, because it had all this knob and tube. So we rewired the whole house and that was a huge cost. And it just, I was told it would take about four weeks and that turned into like four months. <laughs> I think what happened was my, my electrician was putting my work in between his bigger commercial projects. So he was just moving a, a lot slower. Anyway, the house passed inspection, we're good to go, completely rewired, and I think all in all it was about $15,000. So I wasn't totally happy about that, but that's what needed to happen to rewire a whole new house. Um, the only reason I wasn't happy about it was not because that wasn't the price or the appropriate price, but because I wanted to spend that money on pretty things. <laughs> I just wanted pretty things. I didn't realize I was gonna have to spend so much money on things you could not see. So I did that. We also, I also refinished the floors. So I have hardwood floors throughout the whole house except the kitchen and the sunroom. So we had the floor stripped, sanded, and then sealed with a water base sealant. So that got done. That was a big thing and I think that was only about twenty five hundred dollars. Um, other things that I've done have mainly been just phase one renovations, and they're still underway. 
because I need someone to help me sort out the actual renovations. I realize that there are certain things I just can't sort out myself. So I painted my kitchen, my old kitchen cabinets. I did a two-tone pink kitchen. I love it. The kitchen, it's, the kitchen is so old and raggedy, but I'm making the best of it. I made it as pretty as I can. When I get back home in a couple days, I actually am going to undo some of the things that I've done because I realized um, after having lived in the space for this long, there's certain things that just kind of bother me <laughs> or there's certain things that I need in order to ground the space a little bit better. So I'm gonna repaint a few things in the house, but the kitchen will be, you know, the kitchen works until it's time to renovate it. I've also um, bought some furniture for the kitchen, just like a kitchen table. I set up a little reading corner, cocktail corner, with some other furnishings that I had um, from my art studio. We've also done, um, the whole house was painted. That was a whole ordeal. Oh my God. Sometimes I didn't want to paint the house myself because I've painted a house myself and it just takes a lot of time and it is a lot of work. So I kept trying to get somebody to help me. <laughs> Finally got it all done. Literally just had the sunroom painted right before I left for Europe and that was the last room in the house. So the whole house has been painted white. Chantilly Lace by Benjamin Moore, if you're curious. And um, so that was phase one. Why did phase one take a year? I have no idea. That was phase one painting because the entire house is gonna be repainted in a whole bunch of different colors as I go from room to room. Um, couple other things that I've done so far. Um, we started on the guest room, painted the ceiling, got some furnishings in there. I'm, I'm thrifting a lot of things for that room. Um, I set up my shoe closet in there. Um, we've, I've done the linen closet. I still got to put the doors back on the closets, but painted everything. Um, I've added wallpaper to both of the bathrooms, so that's a nice little phase one project. And I love the wallpaper in um, throughout the old house. And um, and then right before I came to Europe, we did two other remodeling projects. So we took out the glass sliders in the sunroom office, which connects the sunroom office to the kitchen so that just opened up a whole other sort of world for me I can't wait to get back to finish up what I'm gonna do with that space because it's just so lovely I'm a love working in the sunroom even though the sunroom doesn't get much sun for now and then we did something that I have been waiting to do since I bought my house I put in a fire insert the real sound of that lady saying a little commotion for the dress. So in this case, a little commotion for my fireplace. Anyway, I will try to insert some photos of it, some clips of it, but you can definitely see it on my Instagram, home with Krista David. But it's an electric fireplace, <laughs> and it's basically just a big box in the what is now the library um because it used to be the dining room we don't need a dining room it's just me so that is beautiful and i can't wait to start styling it when i get back because it's almost holiday season bring out the lights um so that those two things got done when i return the goal is, I think what, what inspired me today was watching um, a YouTuber, I think her name is Ariel Bissett. I'll post her link down below, but it was just so inspiring. This woman from Canada bought herself a house and she just fixed it up. I mean, ripping out 
floorboards and baseboards and painting it all these like her house is a jewel box but that was just so encouraging but and it could just be editing but what it looked like she was doing was actually working on one room at a time and finishing which hasn't been my thing I've been like doing starting projects all over the house and not finishing anything and then I get so tired and overwhelmed and I'm like I don't want to be here anymore I should have just moved back to New York and got an apartment overlooking the park but anyway I love my house I can't wait to get back um and the goal is to finish projects so that I can then start on other projects so we have the guest room we need to just finish with some decor stuff that I'm waiting for in the mail. Um, the bathroom, I think I'm I'm feeling ready to tile that little cutout that the previous owners just kind of left a hole in the wall. I think I'm I think I've watched enough YouTube videos where I feel like I can just tile that little area myself. And then once I tile it, we're gonna put down some peel and stick. I think I keep going back and forth on the peel and stick on the floor because I could also paint the floor but we'll see what happens but I'll finish the guest room get the doors back up on the closets and then I'm going to start um, working on my prayer room which only a couple things need to happen in there literally like three things I need to get some closet doors up, so just some bifold doors need to be placed in there. I need to paint um, paint the room. I already know what color I want. I just got to find the right shade. I just know it's going to be some shade of blue. And I want a certain kind of like antique denim blue, and the room will be completely drenched in color. One color, one finish. And then I'm going to try my hand at removing the baseboards and getting some taller modern baseboards and doing that in the room and then replacing the light fixture and that, that's it it's a very very easy very easy thing to do so um i can't wait to get back and do that and i think that is it um Oh, when I also when I get back, I'll be talking to an interior designer just so that I can get a consultation to see if she can help me space plan the kitchen. I really do want an actual full plan for the kitchen and bathrooms before I start um, doing things to them, like permanent things. Right now, I'm just doing phase one, making everything pretty, but when it comes to like ripping out the entire bathrooms, and the entire kitchen, I actually want those things to kind of go together. And sometimes when you do things in piecemeal, it starts to look disjointed. So I really want someone to be like, okay, this is the feel we're going for, for the kitchens and the bathrooms and have all that settled and mainly help me space plan the kitchen because it's such a weirdly long kitchen. It's just so long. Anyway. So I'm gonna talk to her and then I think I'm gonna also schedule um, a consultation with an architect um, because architects, they, they're, they're interesting in that they really do, well the good ones anyway, they spend a lot of time thinking about space and spatial planning. And I think that's what I want. It's less about, help me pick out fixtures, I can do that myself. It's less about, help me pick out paint, I can do that myself. It's more about, where do we put an island? Should we have an island? How should the skylights cross the room? Should they be like sun tunnels or should they be full on panels? Should we pitch the roof um, to match the, 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 the ceiling of the sunroom that is connected to the kitchen? Like It's like those kinds of things and that's less of, in my mind, an interior designer unless they have experience with spatial planning or space planning. And it seems like that's more like an architect's bag, but we'll see. I'm gonna just talk to people and see. And then the last person that I am going to talk to this year is somebody, a landscape designer, just so I can get a full plan for what 
can be possible for my front, back, and side yards, even though I can see that being like a three-year project. Because <laughs> who has money for that? You know how much money it costs to cut down trees? Who has money for that? No, no, not my priority. But I would love to have a plan. I would love to have some drawings. And then I can slowly, in like a, a phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four type type thing, and then slowly do that work um, as I find money and have time. That's what I would like. But anyway, that's the house stuff. Um, I keep thinking that I want to experiment with showing up in YouTube on YouTube more regularly um, because Instagram is getting on my last nerves. Jesus. These people think everybody work for them. They want you to do all kinds of like <sighs> ridiculous things just to have people look at your stuff. And uh, anyway, I don't want to go on and on and on about that, but I'm thinking about showing up on YouTube more often. So I said, you know what, you're in Paris, you you have a little bit of downtime. Why don't you just, you know, see if you can wa um, make a few videos. I'm literally in my, what do you call that? Sleep, sleeper, daily sleeper dress. <laughs> so I said, let me just see if I can make some videos. Clearly you already know how this goes. I'm not editing these videos. I don't know how, this is what we are. This is what we're gonna do. It's just me talking. So that's kind of what's going on with um, the house stuff. I'm trying to, oh, I probably should have been, <laughs> I probably should have written some notes for this video. Um, you know, kind of like three things I learned this year in my first year of home ownership. But I, I didn't do that. Um, I just want to give you an update from the last video I did. And um, who knows, I might re-record this and actually get myself together. Because I have learned a lot in this first year of home ownership. It is not for the faint of heart. But it is definitely doable by almost anyone just gotta have a little patience gotta have a little bit of money like because stuff broke down and then you just gotta come up with some money to fix it <laughs> oh i had a lot of hvac woes oh oh that was the other thing i was like wait a minute i've done more in my house than what i've just said i built a whole damn art studio in my basement oh my god I was like what was I doing with all my time this year why did I get stuff done I spent the first part of the year building a whole full art studio in my basement and my basement is an above ground basement with eight windows that wrap around on the sides right it's a walkout basement so it's not one and it has um, 10 foot ceilings 10 and a half foot ceilings so it's not, it's not the kind of basement you're probably thinking of when you think of a little fixer upper house. This is, it really shocked me. That's the reason why I bought the house, it was for the basement. So I built my art studio and it's still a rough space, but it's appropriate for an art studio. Um, it's dry, it's warm when it needs to be, it's cool when it needs to be, I have zoned the HVAC. So this downstairs has its own HVAC heating and cooling system. Um, I set up storage, I have plenty of workspace, and I will do a tour of my studio now or when I get back home because right before I left for um, Amsterdam, the contractors who built the fireplace, they also hauled away all of this construction materials that we had left over from doing the doing the art studio it was just in the way so I was like can you please take this off my hand I don't need it I'm sure I could have saved it and used it for projects down the line but it was more important for me to have full access to my art studio space 
than to try to save a hundred dollars worth of materials because that's what it was it was like three sheets of sheetrock the the 12 foot sheetrock um which i think is like 18 dollars a sheet or 20 dollars a sheet and a couple pieces of random wood but they took all of that out so when i get back i can clean up my studio and i can finish sort of organizing my things and then i'll do a full tour but i built a studio i mean i got plumbing down there heating and cooling we built a little area that's separate for the laundry room down there i even set up a little home gym downstairs in in the corner um, not in the main art studio working space um yeah so I, I listen I did all that I did all that and I didn't even know what I was doing no clue and I have like three jobs full-time jobs <laughs> and I did all of that so yeah yeah it's so important to write down your things write down all the things you've accomplished because you'll convince yourself that you've done nothing when you've done a lot. And we was in the middle of a whole pandemic. We're still in a pandemic. Wear your mask. I have not stopped masking. I just wanna be super clear. On planes, in stores, if I'm walking down a street, like I was in Venice walking down these little alleys. Well, they're, they're streets and not alleys. But they're tight, mask, pandemic. You know, anyway, so that though, that's the update. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm gonna post this video because it's a lot of shadows, a lot of shadows. There's not much light, it's overcast, it's raining all day. Um, and I'm, you've probably been hearing all these weird construction noises. I have no idea. But that's it. I just want to catch you up on what was happening in the house and um, we'll see. I'll try to post this video and let's just see. Maybe I'll show up every week um, with a video and maybe I'll start recording actual footage of me working in the house so that I can insert video clips as I talk to you about what's happening in the house. Um, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. I was just inspired to do this because I just sat here all day watching YouTube videos. So anyway, you can subscribe if you would like to, no pressure. <laughs> you can check back next week and see if I post another video. Let's just see, let's just see how this works. I can't make any promises, but um, I do love my house and I love working at my house and I love sharing. Um, the ups and downs, mostly on Instagram, but I'm hoping that I can figure out how to do that here on YouTube. So, until next time, you know, go make something. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs>